Now we learned how do you find the roots of a quadratic equation by factorization in the previous video. Here I'm going to tell you one more example on this so that you know when you do your practice it is easier for you. So you have to find out the root of a quadratic equation by factorization. The quadratic equation is 2x squared minus 2 root 8x plus 4 is equal to 0. So like I told you the first thing that we need to do here is we need to split this particular number okay minus 2 root 8x in such a manner so that it is equal to the product of these two right the product of these two numbers is what 2x squared plus 4 okay actually it's a multiplication of these two right so 8x squared how do I break this up into two parts such that their product is equal to 8x squared right so can I write this as minus root 8x minus root 8x because if you see the product of these two is going to be equal to minus into minus gives you plus root 8 into root 8 gives you 8 x into x gives you x squared right so I can write this minus root 2 root 8x as minus root 8x minus root 8x plus 4 is equal to 0 of course 2x squared needs to come in right and then I do the regrouping of the first two and the next two numbers right so if I notice over here what is it that I can take common in these two obviously x is there now can I write root 8 as 2 root 2 right so if you notice root 8 can be written as root 4 times root 2 we know root 4 is equal to 2 root 2 right but my challenge lies in the fact that root 4 can actually be plus 2 or minus 2 right and that we are not clear in terms of what it will be so I am not going to go down this path so even though root 8 could have been further simplified I am not going to do this right so I just take x as common and what else can I take common over here I can take root 2 as common as well so what do I get here I get root 2x minus root 4 why because root 2x has already been taken as common is equal to or actually let me just not do this minus now what is common between these two numbers root 4 okay x is not common so we get root 2x minus root 4 is equal to 0 right now taking this as common I get root 2x minus root 4 and here again I get root 2x minus root 4 is equal to 0 right now since both of them are common we can just write this simply as root 2x minus root 4 whole square is equal to 0 or root 2x minus root 4 is equal to 0 right solving for x what do I get I will get root 4 divided by root 2 why when I take this to the other side it becomes positive then I just take this to the denominator or simply root 2 as the answer so the value of x in this case is equal to root 2 right if you put this root 2 as value over here so what do you get we get 2 times x squared right how much is x root 2 root 2 square is 2 2 times 2 gives you 4 minus 2 root 8 into root 2 plus 4 okay now uh, root 2 into root 8 gives you root 16 the 16 ka square root is let's say 4 so 4 times minus 2 gives you minus 8 so you have 4 minus 8 plus 4 is equal to 0 which is the case 
and therefore the answer that x is equal to root 2 is correct.